Okay, this is JDS, and this is another Soccer Manager 2020 video with Paris FC. Um, so we're starting different screens than normal because that's what I'm talking about. I've been looking at this team for pretty much hours on end. Because if you look at that little the um, money counter at the bottom, we are at minus a million dollars. We have a major problem with funds. And I've been trying to figure out a way to fix it for next season. I don't know if you get sacked in this game. I've never haven't, um, gone through a season yet. I've never been in a situation where I need to get sacked. So if we do, that's going to be a major problem, obviously, because the series will be over. So I've been looking at this team for probably getting close to two hours, I reckon, total. And um, I can't seem to find a way to really solve the problem. I was thinking of maybe, I don't know, I'd sell Malatic. Because I'm need i already going to have Timite in goal with the in goal in, uh, striker with the new position we've got. I thought I could possibly sell sell Armin, sell Dia, Fadiga. Or sell Malachit, sell Dia Fadiga, whatever his name is. So I was already selling Abdella Jalil or whatever. And then sell a few other players that we're not getting used. But I found a very big problem where a lot of players, like Malachic, there's no option to actually sell them. I don't know why there is. There's got to be a reason behind that. I actually don't know what it is. There's got to be some kind of reason behind it. If anyone knows what it is, tell me in the comments below. Or I'll probably I'll finish it already. I need to um, catch up with my editing, so I'm recording videos as I'm putting them out. Um, so yeah, I just I don't can't really find a way out. My latest plan is to sell Armand. Uh, and sell Dia Diaby Fagdiga. Have just Timite, Maynez, and Malachic as my striker force. And then sell a few other players in the midfield that I don't need. Buy one midfield. Maybe not midfield because we've only got a few midfielders. But buy one midfielder. Sell maybe Manduki. Try and get a bit of funds. Buy one player who can fill that spot where Maynez is currently. I think Maynez is currently playing in it. Is he? No, not one thing. Is it Mendes? No, Malachic is currently playing in that spot. Uh, that little left attacking mid player. Um, so find someone to fill in that spot. And then our problem should really be over in terms of that. But we need like a backup player. All we really need is to buy one decent player in that position. Hopefully have a few million dollars over, so left over so we don't have to have the same problem in terms of um, by the end of the season being minus in money because of wages. So yeah, I... Just can't figure figure out a way to do it because there's obviously there's probably I would say everyone on the starting team would not be sold except for Manduki because Venteria can come into there because both of them are playing just as bad as each other. I mean he's got three, four, four, six, three, and Manduki has four, 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 three, three. Tamita is always going to be the main striker option now as I put him up in striker and he's going to just play in that position in this squad. I just really need to figure out what to do to solve this problem. If Demokono wasn't so old, I might get rid of Mason or what he's going to have to be in the future, especially with Manduki, oh, Demokono, sorry, playing so poorly. Mason might have to be the first team goalkeeper. I can't afford to buy another one at the moment. So we're going to have to figure something out. I'll deal with that in future episodes. But for now, let's get straight into the games and hopefully get a few wins. Try and put ourselves up into the fourth or fifth position and get a bit more money from the end of the season. Prize money. The game here, we're the only game today in the league. We are Palace FC versus the Troyes at home at the Charlie Stadium. We're just gonna go with the general team. We're gonna put Monterio back in there. I do need another, like, a wing-back player. I don't know who I'm gonna do, though, because I don't really have any other wing-back sort of players I've got. I mean, Rabi doesn't fit there, though. Like, no one, I don't know what players fit there. I know he does. What's his position? I guess people with the preferred role of a wing back are the player that would fit there. I don't know who that is. Got to get straight into the game and hopefully get the win here against a choice. We've got a lot of games actually now at the moment. All, all four games after the season, there's only four left. All four um, big games. We've got obviously a choice here. Then we have Lorient. Then we have Nancy Lorraine and Gwingamp. Actually, I actually think Lorient's last. Whoever, no, Lens are your last. Then it's Gwing Amp after this game and Nancy Lorraine first next episode. Okay, here we go, man. No sound, no, there's no sound on. Turn that on. Okay. Let's start with the ball at the Charlie Stadium. I've also been looking for some options, a chance here for them. It's headed high and they're coming with an easy save, and it's not. He actually just taps it just down. And we can clear it out with, I think, Londono, maybe Belanta, I'm not quite sure. 
Yeah, I've been thinking a few options maybe tactical wise that I might be able to fix to get performances up. But apart from that, I don't really know yet. There's a chance here for them just to kind of with an easy save, just holding it. Which is like last time. Boy tank it and a foul there on Sacco, like the chance. Not a chance, they have a free kick just inside their half. I assume was yellow card as well for Boateng. It's put in the box here. And they've got the head on it, but it's an easy save for them it straight at him. He has no trouble with that. Okay, we have a chance here. Uh, Matic getting it down to, uh, to Martin. He headers it back to uh, Boateng, who's going to have you. And um, Sacco has made a foul on Boateng now, so it's just a switch version of the last one. It's about third quarter from our goal, quarter of the field away. And we're going to that free kick up. We do have a chance here from a corner. Boateng can just go back and try and whip one in to a big guy. It's here towards, I believe, Matic, and it was, and it's just uh, tapped over the post there by their keeper. With another chance from the corner, 22nd minute. Wish I can put it back in, who will get it to? Uh, I believe that's Martin again, and it's had a punch sorry, over as far as Londono. He can put it in here to, I'm not sure who, and they get it out. Ben Sada can put it upfield here to an open man with Londono chasing him now. Fortune, Fortune? I feel like it was number B, but Londono brings him down. Professional foul, except the yellow card on that one. A long ball down there from, I'm assuming, Demacone, but it's found its way up one of their players' chests to Tardew who brings down Boateng, he'll get a uh, probably a card I assume it's about it, this would be a third away from our goal third the pitch maybe a bit more we have a chance from the corner after that free kick and nothing comes of it we're trying to keep control but we can't um, Sore gets it in here to Ben Sardo he puts it well over down the ball here is Abdi, Abdi throws it in puts it here to Londono, launches it upfield Clear man here, Matic, with plenty of space, puts it across here to Tomite, brings it down nicely. Good play there, perfect ball from Matic into Tomite, and he just puts it in nicely into the back of the net. We get away with, I thought it was a dodgy pass, but it was executed perfectly. And we're one up, 37 minutes in, they have a charge from the corner to equalise, but it's nice and headed there from, I believe, Rabu it was. He gets it back off Boateng, launches upfield here to Tomite, who brings down Bestie. He'll get the other car for that, but I'll look to this as well. I think it's a bit harsh, but we get it. She did. A lot of cards in this game already. Not even halfway through, it's probably, I think, it'll be five. Okay, we have a chance here. It's put here to Malatic. Launches it upfield to, I believe, Martin, who heads it over to Tomite, who just puts it past the player, gets it to Boateng in the box. There's a chance he puts it. Why? I thought that was in. I saw the net move. It'll be half time to keep the launches upfield. Delon puts it here. To, I didn't see the name, I think it was Sore, and it's half time 1 0. A few players aren't playing too well when Terry out of position is not playing well. Uh, Martin not playing the best either. We have always been in bad form. Everyone's been in bad form through the midfield and defence, really. The only people are keeping, it in it, keeping us in it has been Martin, Malatich, and Tomito. Malatich on a perfect turn at the moment with that amazing pass into Tomite, perfectly timed, perfect positioned. Tomita did well to bring it down as well for that goal. Maybe I should try and make. No, I'll try and make it next year in two of the friendly. Not next year, next season, two of the friendly games. See if he's going to be the better option over Demacone. If he plays better, if the av average score is better, then Demacone is one game I'll give him in the preseason. Next season, then I'll play him. I'll start him at the start of the season over Demacone. See how that works out. For now though, because I think he's played two games and he's got, well three games, he's got like an 8 or 7 and an 8 or something. With a free kick in a fairly, set, fe yeah, fairly threatening position here. Attack over the chance. I think he scored one against us last time we played. He takes a shot and it's over Demacone to Tomite. He can launch it upfield. They have a very good chance here. Right on the edge of the box, Sacco will take a shot, a goal from a uh, free kick and it's straight at Demacone. I tried to go around the wall on the keeper's side and he just stay, sticks in position and takes the save that makes the save, not takes it we have Martin on free kick on the right on the wing in the corner of the box really, a little bit more on the wing side he puts it in, sets it up for I believe that was Matic who puts it over the bar now the corner which we can clear it out, Boateng actually launches it over the goal for another corner, nothing came of it, this wasn't shown they're making a change here, I'm just, maybe I should do the same Okay, they have a chance here on the ball. The other came from that corner. It wasn't really shown, I don't think, from memory. I didn't really see it. I just restarted the game. Nothing really happened. I'm guessing our changes have been made. Maybe not. We've got Tomita on the ball here. He can bring it forward. He's got a chance, maybe. He takes it perfectly in the bottom left-hand corner. And with two now. I wasn't said three then. That was very well taken down. The man on his left. He pulls it. 
pull up on the left hand corner, getting it past the line, on his shoulder, and past the keeper as well. Those changes being made now, Ontario, Abdi and Martin leaving the field for Maynez, Ab uh, Maynez, what was it? Maynez, Lopez, and Johao. The ball here is Fortune, 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 whatever his name is, put it in the box here, and it's cleared out. Although put back in the box, straight in the path of one of their guys, and missed the bottom left hand corner there. It was exposed, and he missed the opportunity. Okay, I think what's happened here, I didn't actually show, I think Rondona's brought down Sacco. He's got, double, he's got another red. Hasn't he? It's a red card for Londono. Uh, it's become quite a problem with him getting red cards. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to keep it like that. He didn't actually... I don't think he played... Uh, not, I don't think he actually did his sentence last time. I think he played the next game anyway. A uh, shot taken here. Democrani with an easy save. We haven't made many chances, I think, since we've made that change. Actually, maybe we have... Have we got a goal since we made the change? I don't remember. Maybe we got a goal before the changes. So nothing's really been made for us since the change. They've got control. Maybe taking Martin off wasn't a good idea. The ball's been put up here. Launched up on Artich to, to meet anything came of it. 91st minute. We've got the win here. This will be cleared out by their keeper. Full, full time. It's actually not. Full t the game's still going. Sacco on the ball. Puts it here to... I'm not sure what that name was. They're behind us though. Um, Beda. There's a shot. And he puts it past the Makone. 2-1. Not going to keep the clean sheet. Hopefully we can still get the win there. It's all them at the moment. This has got another chance here. 22nd minute. 29 second minute, my bad. Put it in the box. It's cleared out. Cleared out again by Matic. We can't control it, but it doesn't matter. We've got the win here. Timite gets a hit of Matic. Headers it forward. And they brought it down. It's full time. 2 1 win. It's too close to the end there. Conceding a goal. Almost conceding a second straight away. And we have won at home against a Troy's AC. 2 1. Okay, again, we had no possession, 71 to 29 to them. We had 9 shots to their 10. We had 4 on target to their 4. So equal on target shots. So we actually had slightly more accurate with our shots. Um, they had 9 corners. We had 5. We had 4 yellow cards. They had 3. And 2 of our yellow cards made a red. Um, and the match here being Tamite with 2 goals and a 10 rating. I think if he hit playing like this, he's going to have a uh, player of the month. So we had Democrani on an 8. We had Balanta on an 8. Uh, sevens, we had Hoban, Londono with a red and uh, assist. Um, other seven, we had Martin. On the bench, we had a six from Maynes, who was the only six in the team. We had fours from Rabiu, Boateng with a yellow, and from Lopez. Threes, we had um, Yohao, uh, Ren uh, Abdi, and Renteria. And we had a 10 from Tamite with two goals and a yellow. And actually, there's another 8. I missed it before. Maletic with an assist and an 8. But the cards that affected the table. We are still sitting in 7th. Um, Equal points with Nancy Lorraine. We're behind goal difference. But we're well behind goal difference as well. Londono will not be playing, obviously, next game. He will miss the Chateau. Chateau? We're not versus Chateau. Have I messed up our schedule thing? I swear we were versing someone else. We're versing Gwingamp, Nancy Lorraine, and Nasty Lens. This game has made a mistake there. That's probably why he didn't um, serve the sentence last time. Just going to get straight towards the next game as fast as I can today. Make this a bit, a bit shorter. So I don't know how much time I have to actually record it. Okay, there's a game here. Lens versus Oxier. Lens coming up with a 4-1 win. That will change something on top of the table. That won't be good for Oxier in the future because they're trying to chase down Gwingamp. And they've had the chance there to go ahead again and they have not taken it. RC Lens coming up the rear on Lorient as well now. 69 points to Lorient 71. If we can get wins in these last few games, that means we've got a win against... Because before this episode, they're all above us, and they still are at the moment, actually. We have Gwing Amps. We actually, as I said, we have the chance to shape the table at the top. Because every team that we are versing today, later today, and tomorrow... Sorry, our next episode... Is all above us. We have, obviously, we just played um, the Troys in fifth. Then we have Gwing Amp up in first. Then Nancy Lorraine. And then RC Lens. 
Okay, we've got a training injury here for uh, Saad. He's going to miss the wing-up game. He wasn't going to play anywhere. I'm going to put Yahao in instead of him as the Londona replacement. Oh, if that's if he actually um, served a sentence in the game. There's the Open League if you care. Oh, I think that's us. Yeah, there is. So there's Nancy Lorraine versus Chateau. Us versus Gwingamp. Um, we're away. Troyes versus Claremont Foot. Shimon Nuate versus Valencia. And Sean versus Grenoble Foot. Azacio versus Lorient. Le Mans versus Orleans Loire. Oxier versus Le Havre. That's the game for today. Last game of the episode. Uh, I'm going to go with the same team. Londono is allowed to play, so this game has a bit of a bug there. But take the advantage of it. Why not? Um, I'm going to try. Who do I try out on that right? Do I try him? No, I don't want to try him. I'm not sure who to try on that right side because no one seems to be working. Do I try with Gobesi? Because he's got eights in every game recently. He's got seven, eight, 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 eight record. So I'm actually I'm going to try him. He's a ball winning midfielder normally. So I'm going to give him a wide midfield position. Hope he can do well. Okay, here we are at the round of our same. Well, I've already got the name. I think that's what it was. And they started with the ball, I believe. Actually, maybe we did, and we lost it straight away. I think we did. Okay, they have a chance here through Benzet from the corner. Can he put it in to a Davis position? He can. Demacrenic going to punch it, missing it. And Rodolin scored straight away. Six minutes in, actually, not straight away, but very quickly. First real attacking highlight of the game. First highlight was a um, yellow card. They have another chance from the opposite side from the corner. Uh, per something runs it straight out of play. Unfortunately, I had to stop recording properly last night, or yesterday when I recorded this. So I'm going to finish and say all the stats for the game now, and now in the episode. So obviously we lost 3-0 against Spring Out. You guys know that, you just watched it for me, it's been a while, so I just had to remind myself. Uh, Rodolin, Val, Val, Via, and Rowe scoring, they had 76% possession, now 28. 16 shots, now 14. 8 on target, now 5. Seven corners to our eight, two yellow cards to our one. And the match was uh, Peric Valdivia. Let's look at our ratings. We were pretty much all fours, and threes, and five. So we had Demokone on five, Hoban on five, uh, Tamite on five. Uh, that's all the fives we had at 1-7 with Martin. We had a few sixes with Condono and Belanta. Um, we had quite a few threes with Menduki, Abdi. Um, well, that's it. Two of them in threes. Uh, fours we had Malatic, Gwebesi, Boateng, and Renteria. 
That's everyone, I believe. Okay, so let's go back. The table has moved not much. We're obviously three points behind Nancy Lorraine again because they won. We have a chance to pull that back now because um, reversing them next. Not now, obviously, next episode. Which I'm not going to record now. I'm going to record later because I'm going to have to. I might record a horror game for my second channel. I've done it in a while. I thought I might bring it back. I won't go up to the game this episode. I'll do it next one. See ya.